Welcome to a Revit family tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to modify a rebar tag. So first of all, as you can see in the properties panel, we have the number of tags which are already associated with rebar file and we can use from one of them. But we want to create a new type of rebar tag which will show us more information and it will be visibly more attractive. First of all, select this existing tag and click on edit type. We are going to modify structural MRA rebar family. MRA means multi rebar annotation. So we are going to modify this family. We are going to select this one and then click on duplicate in order to do not disturb the existing system family. So click on duplicate and we have to rename this new family as detailed rebar tag. Let's name it as detailed rebar tag and then click OK. Then click on this OK again and as you can see the structural rebar tag is showing some more information but it, it is also not enough for us. So we are going to click on edit family. The tag which we are making is going to show us the number of bars, diameter of bar and spacing of bar, total length of rebar and also we are going to show the schedule mark so first of all select this existing tag and in the properties panel click on add it in front of label so these are the informations and we are going to remove these informations and introduce some other informations like quantity by rebar set bar diameter and then we are going to add spacing between the bars. So we have to add some suffixes and prefixes. So for quantity by rebar set, we have to add a suffix of space NO showing the number of rebars. And for the diameter, we do not need any suffix or prefix for diameter as it will show us the type dia of the rebar and for the spacing we are going to add the suffix of c slash c which means center to center and for the prefixes we are going to add dash a small dash will be okay this will give us a spacing between these two tags then we will click on apply and click OK. So now that existing tag is modified. Now we have to add some more information in this family. We have to extend this so it will be in one line. Now these are the work planes. The darker lines which you are seeing right now are the work planes. So the family of rebar tag will work with these planes. Now click on align dimension, click on this line, select the reference plane and then click on other line. Now click EQ for equal dimension. Now we have to increase the distance between these two lines. We have to open up this space and then we have to add one more tag so select this existing tag create copy and move it and copy it below this this work plane line move it a little bit up and top one a little bit down so that it will relate to the line select this bottom tag click on edit in front of label now we have to remove this existing information and we have to 
right bar length for the bar length we have to add prefix of l is equal to which means length is equal to now click on apply and click ok so far so good we are going to create a detailed tag so now we have to add some section for schedule mark Now oh, let's create a line using a circle command and we have to create a circle on both sides. Let's create a circle on this side and let's use the mirror from pick axis and use this reference plane to copy to other side. Here we have two set of lines which are basically invisible lines and these are structural tag lines so we have to move this line from this drag line end and attach it to the circle quadrant now we have to select other line and this time we are going to attach it to the other circle now inside these circles we are going to introduce schedule marks let's copy this existing tag and from the reference plane and place it at the center point of circle now select this tag click on edit in front of label and this time we remove the bar length and add schedule mark so this will be the name of rebar so click on apply and click OK. Now we have to copy the schedule mark on the inside the other circle as well. Let's drag and short, make it short and clearer. And now select the schedule mark tag and use pick line, pick, pick axis mirror tool and use this work reference plane and copy to the other side that's all for the addition of rebar tags but now we have to add some more information in order to show the schedule mark on right side or left side to do so as you can see when we select a schedule select a rebar tag we have an option of visibility so we are going to use this option First of all, for the right side, whenever we install a rebar tag or we create a rebar tag, the circular side will be the end point of the rebar tag. So in case of the annotation on right side, we have to show the circle on left side and in case of annotation on left side, we have to show the circle on right side. So select this circle select schedule mark and select the line which is attached to this circle press hold the control button and click on this line and then as you can see in the graphics section we have visible option in front of it click on associate family parameter and we have to associate a family parameter in this area so this will be the right left side tag and we have to rename it or we have to create a new parameter and we will name it as left side the discipline will be common and type will be the yes or no selection or non-selection parameter now click on ok and click ok again this time we are going to select the other side schedule mark circle and the line which is attached to this circle then we will click on visible again and this time we are going to create a new parameter called the right side and then click ok 
and click OK again. Now let us check this rebar tag if it is working correctly in our drawing or not. Click on load into project and click on overwrite the existing one. As you can see the information is correctly shown but the orientation of rebar tag is not correct. Let's move this rebar tag a little bit further from the attached point. like this as you can see the tag is working fine but the circular portion where we are going to show the schedule mark is not on the right position so select this tag and click on edit type and you can see the in the section other we have left side and right side this time we have selected left side as the tag but we'll, we will uncheck this one and click on right side click apply and ok as you can see the schedule mark tag is shown on right side now and that's it the rebar tag is created now we want to show the arrow on the end of rebar tag click on rebar tag click on edit type and in the leader arrowhead we are going to select field 30 degree large click on apply click ok now the arrowhead is also shown now one thing remain is that we have to introduce a schedule mark for this rebar so you can do this in this section you can edit and write r1 suppose this is r1 or you can select this rebar set and here in the schedule mark and properties panel you can write the name for this rebar now, these type of tags are sometimes shown in the structural drawing which will give us the more information if you want the Revit family file which is created and used in this project you can download it from the link in the description below i hope you enjoyed this video please hit like button and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video bye bye